And it looks like we've begun with the pre-show. Yeah? Are we? I think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. There it is. I see it. <laughs> I see a countdown. And I see the countdown, too. And I this don't hear a... an echo, so sound seems to be good. Nice. Very good. And uh, how are you doing, Yankee? I'm doing fantastic. How about you? Doing great. It's a beautiful day. It was like 70 degrees here and sunny. Really? Yeah. A little jelly there. <laughs> what? Didn't you guys get <laughs> snow last week? Oh, my word. Yeah, did we, we had to postpone this. Remember? Yeah, you were running off the generator for a bit. I was, and I thought, oh, no problem. I got power in the house. I got internet. Let's do it. And then, like, how many hours before we were planning on doing it, I lost my internet. And I'm like, oh, great. So, yeah, we had to postpone it. But, yeah, yeah we had about, I got eight inches of snow out of that. That's so crazy. I know. April snow. Now it's 47. Yeah, we'll get up into the 60s, hopefully, <laughs> this week. I want spring. I'm ready. Yeah, 70 and sunny doesn't sound too bad, does it? Mm -mm. Sounds good. <laughs> I Sounds got good. sunburnt yesterday. I should have put on sun. I was outside working on the farm. I should have put on sunscreen. I got my shoulders are all red. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. Let, let us know in the chat. Uh, what is the weather like wherever you're at? <laughs> Yeah, it's, put the state and the temperature. <laughs> oh, man, this guy's name is hilarious. Grumpy wait, wait. Grass Hole says Garden oh, yeah, Planted. He already garden planted. planted? Yeah, I mean, what are, you, what are you doing this early? Like spinach or something? Wow. Well, cold frames and stuff. Yeah, you get some stuff planted. Yeah, man. We, don't, we don't have anything going. I mean, we're, we're ready to do the garden. We don't have anything right. in it yet. I did get my bike out, so I took the first bike, my bike ride for for the season. So that mm -hmm. started. Um, but yeah, hey, did you see? Oh, actually, no, you wouldn't have seen it. Uh, I saw the eclipse. That was mm. kind of cool. Yeah, I, I there was nothing here. Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, you guys got the was it a partial or full or what? Ninety six, ninety seven percent. So could which, you, by you the took way, the glasses off or no? Oh, we had the glasses. But no, you we couldn't take the glasses down. It's amazing. Oh. You got to get to a hundred. Anything short of a hundred, it's like it's still light out. It, it doesn't give you the. It's just a little dim. That's all. So hmm. a little disappointing. Looks like others though. Like uh, Dan said, the eclipse was awesome Monday here in Cincinnati. Yeah, Cincinnati had a great view of it. We yeah we didn't. Get, I think ours was like twenty percent, and mm -hmm. I don't even know. Yeah, it was literally nothing. I mean, it was cloudy anyway. I could have driven driven up like fifty miles or whatever up in the northern part of New Hampshire and and seen it told in totality, but the traffic mm. you want to spend eight hours <laughs> driving well, back. Don't we have another one coming in like twenty years? Oh, what's the date? Yeah, I looked at it, but it's not going to be up here. It's going to cut across closer to you. Ooh, closer to you. Maybe I'll get to see it. I think yeah, west west to east, and then it curls down across Florida. You just yeah. go to Disney. It goes through Orlando. It goes to Orlando, man. Oh. Can you imagine going to Disney World oh, and seeing the goodness. eclipse at Disney? Yes, that oh. you love that. We should we'll plan it now, Yankee. You and me. <laughs> okay, we'll yeah, we'll meet in Disney World. All right, <laughs> twenty years. We'll try and I don't know what we we'll be on a ride or something when it hits. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, twenty years. See you there. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the chat is invited as well. We're all meeting. Yes, at Disney everybody World. in the chat. We're all meeting at Disney World. It's a date. Yep. Yeah. Magic Kingdom. There we go. <laughs> you you do not want to be on Space Mountain when the eclipse is happening. You want to be on Thunder Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, was it 20, 2044, I think? Oh, yeah. it would be insane. Yeah, somebody said uh, Disney full of crazy. Stay away. Yeah, it would be insane. Can you imagine how insane that would be okay, in there? Fine. We'll go to uh, Universal. Okay, Universal. It doesn't matter to it, me. It's going to be packed too, buddy. <laughs> They're going to be wall-to-wall -wall people for that. <laughs> yeah. You'll have to like book it five years in advance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, good times. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, we've been seeing a lot of fireworks with silver. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting here yeah. in, a, in a just a hair. We'll be starting. Yeah, gold hasn't hasn't totally eclipsed silver. Silver has done pretty well. GSM oh, I, came I, down a bit. Yeah. That's, I'm excited to, see, to talk about that a bit. Yep, hopefully we get another dip and we can all load mm -hmm. up. Um, all right, let's go live. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Silver Pros, sponsored by SD Bullion. I'm your host, Silver Dragons, and I'm joined by my awesome co-host, Yankee Stacking. What's up, Yankee? Thanks, Dragons. Great to be here. Looking forward to this tonight. Gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm going to be starting the Q&A right now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let me type it in. Questions here. So if you have a question... Go ahead and click on that little blue box in the chat, and uh, you can type in your question. Me and Yankee will try and answer as many questions as we can in the next hour. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who are watching live, uh, we will be doing a giveaway at the end of the stream. Should we show them what we're giving away? Let's show them. Why don't you show them, and I'll tell them how to enter. How's that? Mm, okay, so real quick, we were going to be giving away the Tree of Life silver coin uh, mm. from SD Bullion. Beautiful thing. But, but we are switching it to the Roaring Lion what? because they're just released. Oh. And they're actually on sale right now. You can get them at a discounted price. So uh, they do a uh, different oh. one every year with a different Bible verse. Very, very cool pieces of silver. So we will I be thought you were going to do a... I thought you were doing a bait and switch on us, but this is good. This is going from the 2023 to the 2024 Roaring Lion. It's the Roaring Lion, and someone's going to get it for free. So how do they enter the giveaway? Well, it's quite simple. They have to subscribe to Silver Dragons. You're up to what? 210,000 subscribers? 215, is that right? Yankee. 215 now? I can't even keep up. I this know. This is unreal. You're do you're and you're giving away gold at, like, milestones. So you'd be crazy not to subscribe to silver dragons. You have to do that in order to be able to put something in the chat. Right. So that's you, what you got to do. You got to subscribe and then put something in the chat and uh, mm -hmm. we'll do the giveaway at the end. We want to thank everyone listening on the podcast as well. If you want to enter into these free giveaways, you got to watch us live on YouTube. We go every other week on uh, my channel, silver dragons, and then on Yankee stackings channel as well. So check us out mm -hmm. on YouTube and, uh, with that being said, should we get to these questions? Oh, let's just dive into it. Okay. <laughs> right. So I look at them. They're good. Yeah, there, there's a lot of them already. I'm going to start with the, the first one here from N. Marsh. Do you think this will settle down, and where do you think it will settle? So I'm assuming they're asking about the price action. Mm -hmm. You know, are we going to get that uh, correction, that rebound, right. whatever? What do you think, Yankee? I just think it's going to keep creeping up and up and up. I think we're finally seeing price inflation reflected in the metals. And I think silver is finally starting to respond. Gold tends to lead. Silver is now going, oh, and it's confirming gold's pop, which is so important to see that. So I think silver is going to continue to rise as long as the Fed keeps at least a neutral stance towards interest rates right if they switch and say uh-oh looks like uh -oh. we gotta raise rates again that's no uh, good for metals right that's uh, a big boom <laughs> and i don't that's probably not the right word to use it means uh the metals are gonna drop significantly which so. you know all things considered would be a nice opportunity to pick up some more absolutely oh i'm buying on every single dip because the long-term outlook, uh, outlook for metals is big time bullish in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and silver is a long-term play. I really don't trade it. I don't, I don't buy and sell constantly. You know, that's, you want to try that? That's fine. But silver is a buy and hold for me for barter potential and for, you know, protecting my wealth. Yeah. So I actually looked at the chart today mm -hmm. and over the last six months, silver is now beating gold. 
and uh they're they're both beating the stock market by the way oh yeah but yes. um gold was up like 25 percent. silver's up 27 percent over the last six months and that gold to silver ratio it's coming down 83 mm-hmm. it's 83. still it's still in favor of silver i agree and and we could get into the ratio you know if you guys want us to dive into it but yep you know my just you know a, a view from a mile away um my thoughts are that if it's over 80 you still focus on silver so at 83 mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. all right buy silver you know that's interesting the other day just yesterday i was in with tim and uh <laughs> Somebody was bringing in all their silver to exchange towards gold. Ooh. And I'm like, wait, you're doing what? Too early. And so we had, a, we had a big conversation, and I caught it on camera. I asked him if it was okay because I really wanted to understand why he was doing that. So that's coming up probably on Monday. But, yeah, I, I, I didn't want to, you know, say don't do it right in the coin shop. But I was just inside. I was like, what are you doing? Well, what if, I mean, if you're super heavy on silver and mm -hmm. you're worried about, you know, SHTF throwing it in your go bag, right. you can't carry your 500 pounds of silver or whatever. I mean, maybe <laughs> there's someone out there who's like, no, I need to condense. I need this as dense as possible. Maybe that's the case for someone. But I mean, I would wait. Just just wait, like wait one or two years. Yeah. I agree. It, it's a long-term play when you play the ratio. You, you, it, it's not something you do it quickly. Anyways, that I don't want to go down that anymore probably on the ratio, but it is just, I think now is, it, it, it looks like silver is going to continue holding until we see a change in policies. Yeah. I, it's finally happening, Silver Dragons. <laughs> it we're is. See, no, we are. We're seeing this inflationary backlog, this delay. Uh, finally showing up in the metals. I agree. And you know what? Silver is only $1 away. I'm looking at it. It's $1 and one penny away from being higher than the highest it got during COVID. Wow. We're a dollar away. I mean, we could hit that tomorrow. I mean, could. it's, it's, could. it's, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So yeah hmm. anyway that was just one question we got to get going there's a <laughs> lot more man <laughs> well you know a lot of the people are saying you know like we have another one here from christopher yep. is silver moving up real will it go higher could it go bonkers and hit 50 dollars an ounce in the next few months i mean that would be crazy uh, but uh, it has to it has to hit 30 and it has to close at 30 30 yeah. and it has to maintain it through the overnight and mm -hmm. if it can create a base of 30, it's going to fly, bro. It's going to take off. Yeah, I, I think it hasn't started doing that, like, mm. you know, $2 a day, $3 a day move, where it's just like, all right, everyone's piling in. The mania has not started. We're no. way early for all of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, could it hit 50 bucks? Yeah, I suppose it could. But we still have some more landmarks to hit before we're close to that. So, but the move yeah. is legit and so far it's holding and moving up, but basically every day it's going up for the past few weeks. And then occasionally it just goes, it settles a bit. You know, if there was a, some news event, mostly with gold, but also with silver, like the, you know, Israeli defense force seems to back off from, you know, they're attacking, you know, against Hamas and pull out of the Gaza Strip, you see a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it just, nope, nope, I'm going to continue going up. It's like, okay, um, what else? You know, we just got the inflation news. What? Uh, for March, 0.4%, yep. just like February. And we saw, well, wait a minute. Okay. And then it kind of went down a little bit. I saw gold and silver. And then, boom, it continued it going up. It's it's strong. You can sense it. There's, there's a lot of volatility intraday. You're right. Whenever mm -hmm. we get new data coming out it will dip like 20 cents 30 40 50 cents but then you wait a couple hours and it rebounds and and it's up i mean it's the most it, it's one of the craziest things to watch if you just look at as it moves throughout the day the chart mm -hmm. by the way i know this is silver pros gold is five dollars okay away from 2400 we could oh, hit it while we're live look at that while we're live yeah 
And we do talk about gold occasionally on our channel. Yeah. But, oh, look at that. Yeah. There Pretty was amazing, a, isn't it? <laughs> there was a few uh, super chats. One, uh, Nick was asking um, if proof eagles sell for more even without the coa in the box yes they do those are collectible and then uh stack gold maples or buffaloes i personally would go buffalo because i like u.s mint stuff i think he's just talking 24 carat but i i think mm -hmm. you'd agree too right yankee buffaloes I do, over I maples i would take yes i would take buffaloes over maples yeah, by the, just a little bit. Yes. <laughs> by the way, I wanted to shout out the mods as well. What up, uh, Tuli Tuli and Spectacular? Hey, is hi, in the Spec. House. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. We're answering as many questions as we can in the Q and A. We've done like two out of a thousand, but um, <laughs> and I did see some questions in the regular live chat. You might want to just go to the top, click that Q and A section, and stick it in the in there so we get to see it. Um, it's Silverman twenty eight. I have twenty eight dollars and. 61 cents mm. man we're getting close to 29 that I whole know. 30 that target 30 that's not far off i mean yeah this we could... we could hit 29 tonight it'll wow. be it'll be interesting to see so uh we have a question here from caleb he says any updates for your price forecasts now that the metals are running i suppose he's asking for end of year <laughs> i'm uh, gonna hold on mine you're I'm not gonna say it. No, I'm staying on it. Um, my my original guess and, from and last December. Refresh us. What was it? Thirty three dollars. Interesting. I think we're going prices right here. So, uh, I don't know how many I'm of you remember it. this. Yeah. Last year, I thought rates were going to start coming down. I don't know why yep. I thought that, but people were talking about it. All right. And in that environment, I had predicted thirty two point mm -hmm. three three. Repeating, of course. And and basically, I all I did was move that prediction to this year because again, I think rates are going to start coming down. So I'm going to keep the same thirty two point three three. You're at thirty three. I guess we'll see who's closer. <laughs> I had this urge to say Leroy Jenkins, but I won't. Uh, thirty three only because I think the odds are still higher that we see a rate cut than we see uh, a rate rise. I, I don't think in a in an election year they can afford to cause a commercial real estate collapse, a horrible recession, a banking crisis, and everything else that comes with it by raising rates. I just don't see them doing it. So maybe they stay neutral the entire year. In that regard, maybe my estimate is way too high. But if they cut, I'm sticking with my, my prediction. Yeah, so we're both kind of in the low 30s. Yeah, Honestly, low 30s. Yep. you know, fireworks could happen uh, this year or next year. I'm I wondering think. how many stackers out there are disappointed in this. How many silver stackers out there right now who are just getting into it going, is, 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 should I do it now? Uh, I, I was kind of waiting. Now it keeps going up. People were saying it's going to drop back down and, you know, into the, into the teens. And I was just going to wait. I wonder how many people. Be interesting, interesting poll. Yeah, you know, honestly, I would not mm. wait. Um, I would not go all in at these prices, but I would definitely start because yeah, you don't want this to started. get away from you. You know, I mean, look, look at gold. A hundred mm. years ago, gold was twenty bucks an ounce, give or take. Mm -hmm. Now it's mm -hmm. twenty four hundred. You don't want this to get away from you. Uh, yeah, and that. I'm looking at Rob G's question. It kind of relates to that. Is going all in <laughs> good ideal for a 19-year new stacker? So a 19-year-old? Is yeah. that what we're seeing? Wow. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. I love that. Great. Great that you're starting uh, as a teenager. I would not be going all in. Uh, mm -mm. Although, what do you got to lose? You're 19. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO! No, I mean. There's worse things you could do with your money absolutely should i go all in and buy bitcoin or should i go all in and, <laughs> and and just play golf i don't know at this point i still would think rob should um buy in tranches in 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 stages right so buy some and every dip so i think we're going to see low, uh, higher lows 
if things stay the same, we're going to see pullbacks and it will continue its rise. So Rob, I mean, it's just every time that happens, dollar cost average, buy some silver and, and just keep buying now. I wouldn't wait and I wouldn't go all in. It's, it's a compromise there. It's somewhere in between. I would agree. Uh, we do have a question here from Eric, the cat. What are some interesting things you've found in junk silver? I'm assuming he's asking like sorting through it. Uh, have you done that, Yankee? Have you gone through all your junk looking for key dates? No. What did you just say? <laughs> did I go through my junk? Junk silver, constitutional oh, 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 oh. silver. Yeah, I, I, I did a while back. I went through all my dimes before I was working on that box, and no, I'm not done yet. Um, I did not go through my quarters. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, to see half there. dollars, I did. Yes. So the dimes and halves, not the quarters. I didn't find anything. Zero. You know why? Because the people I buy them from, they know what they're doing, and they don't usually let stuff slip through. Now, I did buy some junk silver from a private sale, mm -hmm. and I definitely check those. Yeah, Anytime always, I buy from always. Uh, you always check those. Because yeah. it could be mixed in with grandma's collection. Yeah. Yeah. So there but could I be key have... dates. But zero. I found no key dates. Okay, well, None. Yankee, you need to watch my video I posted a couple of weeks ago on my backup channel. It's called Silver Dragons 2. And I, I searched that. all my Mercury dimes. <laughs> uh -huh. And I found a handful of pretty cool coins. Um, uh -huh. and You're special that way. And two I thought were varieties. I took them into the coin shop. They said only one of them was uh, a micro s uh Ooh. variety so i had I, I did find one though so yeah mm -hmm. um it's a lot of work it took me like seven hours but it's fun if you got the time if anybody is listening right now and you're not a content creator and you don't have to punch out videos every week and you got time do it, do it. <laughs> absolutely hey we do have seven hours is gold baby <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh we we had a few more super chats. Thank you all for the super chats. One from Silver Whisperer. What about selling gold to buy silver? I sold 2.6 ounce of gold and bought 190 ounce of silver a couple of weeks ago before it went up. Bravo. Good for you. Well, you yeah, good good job. It's it's one of those things where anytime you trade between the two, there is some value lost because mm -hmm. of premiums right like, like unless you find private party who's willing to trade you straight up mm -hmm. it's just you know you you want to do it very rarely but i think with the ratio being where it's at it's not that bad of a, an idea i've seen or at least i've heard of a few people at the local coin shop that i go to doing the exact same thing so i i would say that's definitely a better decision than selling your silver to buy gold right now <laughs> somebody in the chat just said gold hit 2405 is that true uh it depends on where you look uh yeah SP's i'm looking at he's got him at 2396 SP? okay yep i see it silver's 16 cents away from 29 we are hitting milestones as we're live <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> all right all right New question. Yeah, why don't you pick one of these, Yankee? Bars or Canadian maple leaves? Mm. I know what I would say. Depends on the year. Okay, let's uh, say 2022 Canadian maples. It also <laughs> depends on the premium. <laughs> so many dependencies And here. it depends on what you already have in your stack. Oh, man. You're right. Depends. I mean, I don't like depends. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're a little bit later in your years. Oh, you got to worry about that it. before me. Um, <laughs> what Walk about right into that one? <laughs> let's change it. Let's say it's a brand new stacker mm -hmm. and they're comparing one ounce bars with whatever premium they're at to new Canadian maple leaves with the, with the higher premium. What do you say then Yankee? For a new stacker. For a new stacker? Yeah. 
I'm just not a, I'm not a big bar guy. You know that. So I lean towards the Maple Leafs. That's a great uh, government mint sovereign silver to stack. Probably my top uh, pick still at this point. If you're just starting to get a tube of those, that would be so sweet. But what, would you go with the bars? Um, oh, it's so tough. I would do the maples. Sorry. I would probably do the maples. maples. If they were like a dollar more, I'd do the maples. Yeah. Yeah. If it was like $3 more, I'd probably do the bars. There you go. Well, I wouldn't get the bars either way. I would get one ounce rounds, but mm -hmm. to each mm -hmm. their own. Uh, we do have kind of a general question here. Uh, what website or app will show me metal prices? I'm new to this. You know, you could just go to our sponsor, sdbullion.com. And it's right, right at the top, either on your phone or website, doesn't matter. They'll have the prices right up at the tip top. Staring at right at it right now. And that's, uh, let me just, can I touch on something that constantly is asked to, mm -hmm. and it's, yeah. uh, it may be in the questions. Why are there different spot prices? You know, I'm looking at Kitco on my hand. I'm looking at SD Bullion. I see a little discrepancy there. Listen, that number you see at the top is out the door. This is, these are prices that, include buying or selling your actual metals not some paper contract but in actual metals so if you look at kitco that's not out the door price okay if you, you look at that and go oh man I, I well the bid says uh uh 2858 so i mean i could sell my you know one ounce silver eagles for 2858 no to kitco no uh-uh there's a whole bunch of stuff with shipping and everything else so when you when you look at like an sd bullion price that is an actual think of it as the bullion stacker price mm. does that help yeah yeah and, and they all have different ways of pulling it from the the future and yep and there's all you, they all have slightly different timing no, on, but i actually pull every I minute or every 10 minutes right no I, I i i literally asked the ceo of sd bullion chase turner exactly why and actually cole was there when we were in uh, tim shop and he made that explanation and it made a whole lot of sense to me. I think that confuses people sometimes, but that is a legit price for stackers. That's how you need to view it for actual physical metals. Yeah, I will say it it seems as though like the futures, at least recently, mm -hmm. have been slightly higher than these spot prices when yes. I go and look at them. That can so, be the case. I, I think it can but go we, the other way as well, though. But I don't really care a whole lot about that. I right, care right, about right. what it what am I going to get for my well I don't sell my metals but if I was to sell them what would I get for them legit right out the door well but what do I get what would I have to pay for my metals it's based on this yeah there's some premium attached but what I'm saying is a lot of the costs for the metals are calculated into that as well the physical yeah and I've heard people say okay it's not really about the spot price either mm. it's mm -hmm. about the stack price Mm -hmm. what That's is a, what a is great way to put it spot right there. plus premium to get me the silver thank you the, so a spot e price um it's a stack price yeah, That's, e i love even that. if spot is at 28 mm -hmm. it still might be two bucks for the cheapest ounce of silver over that so you're still right. looking at 30 bucks an ounce so it just depends on how you look at it i mean there's a there's a, a lot of different ways to see it but uh okay Let's move on to another question here. Junk or rounds or eagles? Hey. It sounds like a lot of people are trying to figure out what to stack. That's I just a, big, a lot of questions. I just my my not my last video, but the one right before it, I literally go through these three. I call them the three pillars of silver stacking mm -hmm. for people who live in the United States of America. You got your constitutional silver, your generic silver, which is rounds and bars, and then you have your silver coins. And I kind of lay out the pros and cons for all three, but just to give you the dirty <laughs> right now, I'm saying rounds Buy the cheapest of the three, unless you're worried about barter, then you go the junk or constitutional silver. What do you think Yankee? Well, first of all, Bing Wong, nice question. Was that a setup? Did, did you pay Ming Wong to ask that question? No, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you 100% as a prepper stacker. I really want to make sure I have primarily uh, junk silver, 90% constitutional silver. It's very important for me from a barter and trade standpoint. Right. 
uh, I think Eagles or con not necessarily Eagles, but Maples or, or Sovereign Silver would also be potentially one of my last things to barter for silver, but it could be easily recognized. So I like those, but with the premiums, the way they are, I've been focusing on rounds. So order probably junk rounds, Eagles. There you go. Uh, this one that I got my finger on this question by Gabriel, that's mm -hmm. for you, Yankee. That is, that's your question. Would you consider buying beaten up rounds or coins if they were at a low price? Well, I, Gabriel, there were four really gnarly looking Eagles at Tim's counter yesterday. I was like, that is what I want to buy because it was just awesome to see a scratched call circulated Eagle one ounce of highly recognizable and trusted silver for a really good price. So if you can find that, especially it's very common, like people like that with Morgans and more collectible stuff. But if you can find it with maples or Eagles, government silver, minted silver, do it. Buy as much as you can. That's my opinion. Rounds on the other hand, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, you can get some beat up rounds too. That it, it all depends on how much they're they're charging over spot. Yeah, but definitely, definitely solvent silver. Definitely, that's the way to stack it. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're saying if they're at a low price. I mean, yeah, clearly, oh, if yeah. they're cheaper than the other ones. Do it. Do why it. Why would you not? Especially on rounds, because mm -hmm. no one cares. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to sell them, you could have a a brand new, fresh from right. the mint, one day old buffalo. And the most beat up, toned, scratched up, milk spotted buffalo from 20 years ago, and they'll take them for the same price. But at the same time, I know some places will take it, will sell a, uh, will buy your call circulated scratched up eagles or maples for slightly more than a round. Oh, I see, because they're a coin. You know what I'm saying? Because they're a coin. Yeah, That's my it, point. it all does depend on what your LCS likes and and mm -hmm. what what they normally do that is a good right. point because every coin shop will be slightly different mm -hmm. so yeah you definitely have to keep in, in, that in mind um all right we have another question here from larry why now why has silver and mm -hmm. gold had this sudden rise interesting well what do you think yankee I think there are why not <laughs> three yeah why not it's been a while this is good I think three three things off the top of my head just flip them out real quick right mm -hmm. geopolitical issues have to factor in the stress strain and concerns over wars and and threats in three different theaters I can think of right now major ones right that I think has boosted it but why now also I think the reaction of the Fed in doing a soft pivot away from hiking and back down to a neutral stance and their willingness to allow for hotter than desired inflation without saying, Nope, we're going to raise rates again. They seem to be willing to let that sit and, uh, you know, bubble up without overreaction. That was, uh, wow. I guess that maybe they are going to cut still. And the fear during this year, of a recession during an election year and their willingness potentially to do what might not be the right thing monetarily. And that is cut because that just destroys our dollar and, and shoots inflation up even higher, but their willingness to do that, to keep the, the fake economy chugging has boosted metals has finally seen the price inflation that we see at the grocery store feed into the price the spot prices of gold and silver that's yeah, my opinion yeah there, there's a, a few things that you didn't mention that i would like to bring up mm -hmm. so central banks are buying up crazy amounts of gold right now they're setting records especially china <laughs> they're buying up insane amounts mm -hmm. of gold and when it comes to silver india who usually is a pretty big buyer, they're buying like record amounts of silver. Right. So you've got whales can I, can I buying a buying lot of physical. Central banks, foreign central banks, not so much us. Can I tell you why I think that's the case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they keep selling fiat currency, dollars, US dollars, and increasing their gold reserves because foreign central banks 
are willing to forego the interest that they could otherwise earn on U.S. Treasuries and hold non-interest bearing assets like gold mm -hmm. because they believe that inflation is going to continue to be higher than the interest rate. In other words, a negative yield. And when you have a negative yield, it, it, it's better to hold something that's going to maintain your purchasing power like gold. Right. They're, they are going to lose purchasing power if they continue to hold the U.S. dollar. I think that is a big reason why, like you said, China is stockpiling a lot, at least what they tell us publicly. It could be a whole lot more, but they are buying it up like crazy, and other countries are too. Yep, yep, absolutely. Uh, and another thing you did not mention was uh, the election. Mm -hmm. so i didn't pass it i did touch on a little it's a well election. okay yeah yeah okay yeah. Maybe, maybe you did but uh fear is one of the things that drives metals fear mm -hmm. you know so not only wars and and fear of other wars starting but also something like mm -hmm. the election typically i did a video uh i forget months ago but i talked about what normally happens during an election year with metals and mm -hmm. for the most part they go up it's mm -hmm. that's just mm -hmm. what happens. So there's a lot of things that kind of lined up. It's almost like the perfect storm right now. And it's not over. I mean, it, it's like kind of just getting started. One thing that will most likely slam the prices of gold and silver is a recession. Historically speaking, when the recession really kicks go gets going, like, you know, what we had back in 2008, you saw uh, gold cut in half. I mean, you saw, oh, I'm sorry, silver, silver actually yeah, cut silver, in half, yeah. silver, not gold, sorry, silver, 50%. So, and then it took off afterwards because of the response by the Fed. So that is the, that's the, the event that could blow this all up is if they actually do see a recession and, and, and we actually have one in an election year, which I'm telling you, politically speaking, they're going to do everything they can from having happen. They'll sacrifice the dollar. No problem to keep that from going down. Which is funny because that's basically another tax on all of us. Yeah. To avoid the recession, they're going to tax us with more inflation. Think about that. We're going to lose no matter what. Oh, Unless yeah. <laughs> you become your own bank, get out of the system, and stack some metals. Got to protect yourself, guys. You have to. Otherwise, you're guaranteed to lose. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, look at that. Less than three dollars away from an uh, from two two thousand four hundred. It is getting close, man. It's sixteen away from twenty nine in silver. I know sixteen, 16 cents. Cents. Wow. All, All right. right. What else do we have here? Well, there's a lot of different comments regarding what to buy. Mm. Um, I think in general, we've we've touched on this quite a bit. It seems like the generics with the lower premiums are a little bit more attractive than some of the coins just because premiums are kind of moving up a little bit on some of that mm -hmm. stuff like eagles again not not like it was two years ago but they're kind of pulling away i mean if you go into your coin shop if you look online it's like ooh, i think i better go silver rounds i mm -hmm. mean just in general that's my advice to to literally anyone who's if you're new to silver if you've been buying silver for 20 years and you want to stack more just buy the rounds like one ounce buffaloes and great choice and you can't really go wrong i mean what's your we talked about maybe junk silver but what would be your top pick for someone who's new or or just top pick for someone in general who's wanting silver because almost half of the questions are about that what to buy? Yeah. That's fascinating to me. I know I saw that. It's like, what do I buy? What do I buy? I'm literally looking right now on SD Bullion's site and looking at uh, whatever deals they have, their deals. I, I would agree with you that rounds are a great choice. I do think, though, as the price of silver keeps going up, you will start to see the premiums coming down. Mm -hmm. So... At some point, you might be able to get into sovereign silver, but I'd say, you know, it, and, and the premiums will be reasonable. But right now, I wouldn't, I'd look at the rounds. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find it. They've got the, what's this one? one I'm, I'm, I'm looking at their site right now, trying to see what's a, what was a really good deal. Uh, is this a one ounce? I'm trying to look for the premiums. Yeah, you, my rule of thumb has always been to try to get some silver that is less than a 20% premium. Right. And with That's gold, it, it's uh, the premium's even lower, right? What, what are you at? Less than, less than five. Less, less than five. Five percent. Wow. Yeah. I have one, two. That's doable. You can find it. All right. There's more questions about the ratio, Yankee. <laughs> I'm not the right one for that, right? <laughs> but the, but they're uh, asking us. All right. Then we get to answer it. And I say I'm not the right one for that because I don't play the ratio in the physical, uh, you know, silver and gold markets. Uh, did you guys trade any gold for silver when the ratio was high? No, I buy gold, I buy silver, and I keep them both because both are important to me for similar but different reasons, different, different, you know, stacking targets for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't play it with the physical metals. Yeah, and then we have another question right here. Is now a good time to take and trade silver for gold? What about <laughs> selling gold for silver? I mean. I, I just saw that happen today. Yeah, pe people are asking it either way. Or yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I saw it. I mean, the, I, I'm really concerned because, again, this gentleman that was in there, and I saw what he was doing, and I understood his logic. You'll see that video on, on Monday. But I was like, you are losing something in the, in the exchange. Now, when I was down in Texas, in Houston, I went to U.S. Uh, coins and jewelry. They would do the exchange direct if you brought in silver and said i want the equivalent for gold value they wouldn't exchange it in fiat currency they go right to the metals that actually show you what it is but there's a spread there and they're gonna make something in that exchange or else they wouldn't be in business right, right. that's their job so you you so you got to be very cautious about playing this ratio too frequently you and i, I think we're we're chatting about it 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 takes a while for that GSR, I think, to make sense with physical. Yeah, you, you have to do it at the extremes. Exactly. And, and and I will say, not every coin shop will try and make money on both ends of the trade. That's true. So, like, for example, down at Harry's, if mm -hmm. you take in uh, gold and you sell him gold and then you're telling him, hey, I'm immediately going to buy silver. Right. He's going to give you a better deal on the silver or he'll give you more for the gold. Right, he's, he's it's not one or the other. Make money on both ends of the trade. Not everybody's like Harry, though. You got to be careful on that. Some, well, yeah. some try to get away with doing it on both. So I, I'm just concerned that people get. I don't know what it is, Dragon. Sometimes I wonder if people get bored of what they have, mm. and they they look at it for a while and they're like, "Oh, this is doing something. I might as well go." No, you bought that for a reason. Has the reason changed? Why are you stacking silver? What is your exit strategy? What's the purpose? If you have a strategy and that strategy hasn't changed, my argument is keep the silver or gold. Keep what you have, buy what you target, what you want, yeah. and just build that stack over time. Now, yes, you can, if you're really good at playing the ratio, you can build a stack quickly, really large, right? Doing it with the ratio, but you can get burned doing it too. Right. So, I'll just let me let me just touch on the ratio briefly here. Typically, because it takes so long to hit the extremes where it's a really good deal to trade silver for gold or gold to silver, you're going to have to wait like a decade or two decades. I mean, I started stacking call it six and a half years ago. There has not been a really good opportunity for me to play the ratio. Now, if I had a lot of gold to sell for silver, I could have done that when COVID happened and the ratio was super, super high. But because I was still kind of newish to stacking, I didn't really have that much gold to spend. So I did exactly what Yankee said. I just bought more silver. Like, why, why am I selling anything? So will there be an opportunity to sell your silver for gold? I don't think really anyone should be considering well let me back that up if we have a crazy swing in the ratio either way yes you can take advantage of it but selling silver for gold should only be done when the ratio is low 
for example, when silver is more valuable as compared to gold or gold is undervalued compared to silver from a historical point of view. So just a rule of thumb, if the ratio is between 60 and 80, which right now it's over 80, mm -hmm. that's kind of like neutral zone. Mm -hmm. and, and we're above that. So I, I don't know why anyone's considering moving anything right now. Well, I agree with you, unless it's gold or silver, but it, right. this we're, we're not even right. in the neutral zone. We're not even in the neutral in that with that. It's uh, got to get below 60. Right. Some people have different frameworks around that, but I, I like yours. I think it's good. Can I give you one reason why this guy wanted to do the silver to gold at a GSR of 83? Yeah, it, and I'm it's not blowing saying, my mind. I, it blew my mind, too. And I'm not going to say it. this is correct. Uh-huh. He is concerned that it's going to happen very quickly, that that GSR is going to plummet. Mm. There's going to be a run on gold. Now, I'm not saying he's right. Don't Please don't misconstrue this. He is trying to front run the getting of the gold with his silver because Way he looked early. at me. He said, it's maybe early, but I don't want gold to be unobtainium. No way. I, on it so I, again that was his mindset i still disagree i think it was too high for him to do it but i can understand at least the logic of of his is his point if if you want a front run like like in all honesty yep. wait till it gets to 70 or yeah, 65 60. yeah You're exactly. still front running I you're agree. still going to be ahead of everyone else i mean if it <laughs> Like we, in we 2011, <laughs> right. it got below 40. I know. It was extreme. That's when you do it. Well, if it anyway, goes that below was 40, it's like no, start really bringing in the monster boxes of eagles and take any gold you can find. Like if it, if it gets below 40, I, I would not be surprised if some of these heavy stackers are bringing in thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of ounces of mm -hmm. silver trying right. to trade it for gold now will trying they be able to maybe to trade it maybe not gold. but yeah. but it's very possible that these coin mm -hmm. shops or if you're doing it online or whatever they can order the gold mm -hmm. and you'll have it in a month or two months or whatever mm -hmm. I'm, I'm there's gonna be there's gonna be some way to get it like it's probably just gonna be you have to wait longer because the mints are still making short it short of a, right short of a worst case scenario i agree with you yeah why are the mints gonna be like not making more coins when it's at all time highs. I think he might have actually think that that's going to change soon. I don't know. It, I'm again. I'm not. I'm not saying he's right. No, I, I don't want to. He had guy an either. extreme right. Yeah, he's he's an extreme view. You might say, you know what? I'm not waiting till it gets down. I want my gold. I like that idea of waiting for it to drop, fifties, forties. Oh, that yeah. would be ideal, right? Two tubes. But of silver eagles for one gold for one eagle. ounce of gold that's mm -hmm. what i'm waiting for we'll see if it happens i mean i'll probably front run it so i can do a video <laughs> but <laughs> you will won't you <laughs> oh yeah if it hits 70 i'm oh, like man, you're done you're doing harry, it harry <laughs> give me the gold <laughs> <laughs> no but not but not the whole before stack before you drop the video though do just do it before you tell everybody right <laughs> of course of course yeah, yeah yeah all right what else we got here we only have a Maybe another 10 15 minutes we gotta I get know. we've we've got through a here. ton of questions though mm -hmm. um all right let's see here um let's see what is the most straight up silver product to buy that's not fancy stuff yeah we, we kind of covered that mm -hmm. uh you know your silver buffaloes all right uh oh here here's a really good one from luke l okay with the increase in price all right. Are you slowing down on your purchases or stopping? <laughs> and then he says on buying more, but maybe it's or buying more, like three options, slowing down, stopping, or buying even more than before. Well, I changed my buying habits from last year. Last year was all, I was focused far more on gold. Mm -hmm. uh, I was buying more ounce of gold, ounces of gold per, you know, hundreds of ounces of silver. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's, it's been silver. Because gold, I was afraid gold was going to jump out of the gate and silver would lag behind. And I'm, so I was like, you know, I want to beat that first 
you know, uh, starting gun of gold because it usually leads. And I was like stacking the gold last year. You know, I was getting my Buffalo bullet done. Right. And now it's like, uh, uh-uh. I, I, I haven't bought, I had, I think one, yes, one ounce of gold. Everything else has been silver. So yeah, it's about the silver now. I, I have also been way heavier on the silver, but mm-hmm. that's always been the case for me. Mm-hmm. So I haven't really changed anything. I would mm-hmm. say for me, it's just par for the course. Yep. But I will say this, I'm now able to get less silver for my money, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's true. Because the price keeps going up. So, Correct. you know, I'll just throw out a number. Let's say you're trying to buy... Five hundred dollars worth of silver every month. Okay, I'm just throwing that out there. Sure. That used to get you a tube of eagles. Now, pff, good luck. I agree. I mean, the, the, what the price tough, is, you're but... getting way less. You're you're getting what fifteen ounces now mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for your five hundred bucks. Maybe sixteen. Yeah, I was just I was quickly trying to bring up my 2024 stacking goals. Mm. You know, it was interesting. I I, I wanted I, did I say it? yes, I did. Here it is. 600 more ounces of silver. And I've been I've been Ooh. working on that. I have been working on it and only two ounces more of gold in 2024. Now, now, hold on. And I've already I've done one already. So don't you have another don't you have a guardhouse box to complete? Yes, the dimes. Why is that not in the goals? It it is. Oh, okay. That's yeah. part of the six. I was just giving. Ounces. Yes, yes, it's part of it. No, there are a whole bunch of other goals when I did my goals video, but that was the bulk amount, six hundred more. Yeah, I, I might break it. We'll see. I, but with these prices, it man, we'll see. Six hundred was my my target. Um. So yeah, that's uh. But but the ratio is so much less. It's like three hundred ounces of silver to just one ounce of gold. It was at one point last year as low as 150 ounces of silver to one ounce of gold that I would buy. So it has definitely gone up. I've doubled it. Wow. Well, there you go. Focus on the silver. I am also focusing on the silver. We do have um, another question here from looks like resident spoon. (laughs) <laughs> should i be oh, buying yeah. silver at these prices or wait for a dip buy yeah don't uh, yes wait. yes just i mean and buy, wait for a dip. and yeah, buy yeah. more on the dip right buy more on why the dip, or right? yeah yeah <laughs> yes yeah all right what else um well ju- just to touch on that a hair yeah, more go ahead. yeah go ahead yankee mentioned it earlier buying in tranches dollar cost averaging that's what him and i have both been doing for many mm-hmm. many years and that's what we recommend to everyone you don't take your big chunk of savings and put it all into silver today you take a portion of it and you do it today wait two weeks or a month or whatever and then you do a bit more and a bit more and you have that average price you paid mm-hmm. that's that's what almost all of us do <laughs> or you just exactly. buy some every paycheck you know Mm -hmm. figure out your budget so there you go and just a reminder put something in the chat if you haven't been chatting in order for me to harvest the names for the wheel of names to give away that one ounce lion right that's what we're doing Mm -hmm. the lion i'm the lion i'm I'm literally right now wearing the uh, tree of life t-shirt that i have right now it's on me but i also have a lion that is such a beautiful coin Definitely think people should uh, buy some of those, really. Check them out on SD Bullion site. The Roaring Lion Truth Series. Absolutely beautiful rounds there. I'm sorry, coins. Coins. So, yeah, you would enjoy those. Uh, but put something in the chat. Just reminding people. We are now at Silver Spot Price Check. $28.94. Oh, my goodness. Six more cents till we hit 29 <laughs> We can do it. We're just not going to stop the stream or or the uh, the podcast until it hits twenty nine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Can't do that. 
Uh, gold is also less than two dollars away from hitting 2400 so it is remarkable to see this isn't it mm. we are living in an amazing time yankee yep we are all right so let's uh what else do you prefer online dealers or local dealers vegas stacker mm, it depends on what i'm doing it, it, again that or yeah i prefer ah, both i do i really do well I, but i would say one before the other personally Okay, let's say on three. Ready? One, yep. two, three. Local dealer. Local. Yep. There it is. Local dealers. First, you establish a relationship. You can get it with cash. You can go in quickly. You can. There's so many reasons. A lot of people can't do it. It's tough. You don't have somebody you trust. It's not close. There's a lot of reasons why people don't use a local dealer. But if you can do it, and then I would highly recommend you check out SD Bullion for your online purchases as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Not everyone has a local dealer. Yeah. So, oh my God. get Harry, I got Tim, and we are blessed. <laughs> we are right, three cents away on silver. No way. Is it still doing it? Oh, it's still going this. up. Gold is 39 cents away from 2400 I mean, it could happen in the next 10 seconds. 10 seconds, I know. I'm or, watching or it. Or it'll drop. I mean, I'm, I got my eyes laser mm -hmm. focus. i'll show it on the mm -hmm. screen if it hits it but carlos p asked a question does sd bullion sell toned coins no 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 um that's another reason why a local dealer could be very useful if you have one that you trust you can get some good deals on call circulated toned all that stuff um but no they they, they have the shiny on their site yeah, um, you might you, if you buy like generic second hand, you mm -hmm. maybe will get some on accident, mm. but you can't pick them. But because that's the other thing mm -hmm. about buying locally, you hold it in your hand, you look at it, you decide which one of the ones you want. It's not like they pick and you just get what you get. So True. if you want the toned coins, if you want something special. Or if you just want something unique, a lot of the mm -hmm. time when you go to the local shop, they'll have just bought something 10 minutes ago from, you know, some other dude. And you're like, hey, I, that's what I want. <laughs> I did see somebody question, though, why, where is it? Uh, why is the, oh, okay. It was the roaring line. Why is it a coin and not a round was the question mm. somewhere in there. Yeah, I can yeah, show you. Question. You want me to show yeah. you? Yeah, I, I'm looking at it right now, but yeah, you could share it. Or yeah. I can share my screen because I'm gonna be sharing my screen screen soon. Well, they could they could see <laughs> it. Two dollars. Right. There it is. I see it. See how it says two dollars? Mm -hmm. Um public seal of New A. New so A mint. There is yeah. they make these in New Zealand, but there's a small island called New A. Mm -hmm. N I U E. And they do a lot of these bullion coins. So, because it is backed by a sovereign nation for a dollar amount, that is what makes it a coin. If it didn't say two dollars, new a, then it would just be a round. So, there you go. All right. Um, what are we looking at for time? We got like three more minutes, we got maybe one more. Okay, let's do it before we do the giveaway and shut one it more. down. I am gathering the names now. I'm ready to paste those in. Yeah. Let's do... I'm trying to pick... What there's so many questions. Yeah. And you know what? If we didn't get to your question, uh, we will do this again in two weeks on Yankee's channel. And we will try oh, to do, get to then. I love what Pville said. Can we have a video with Yankee, Silver Dragons, Tim, and Harry? <laughs> <That would be amazing. laughs> oh, man. I don't know how we pull that off. That would be fun. That would be something, uh, wouldn't it? Why do you uh, let's see when silver runs to say 50 won't most LCS and dealers just buy everything around spot or melt? Great question. Tim has mentioned this. He's witnessed that he's gone through it himself. He remembers when it tore up. He said a lot. The premiums were gone. It, it was amazing. So that does happen. A lot of silver ends up getting closer and closer to that spot price. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Something, something to look out for. Yep. If you're, you know, going to be wanna tr wanting to trade in silver for gold, for example, 
mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. at a point like that. That's why it's nice to have those generic rounds if they're going for the same as maples or whatever else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you'll be happy you bought the cheaper, lower premium silver. And and real quick, I'll answer one more from Craig. Why are the Mexican Libertads so expensive? It's because ever since COVID, their mintages have been crazy low. So they're kind of collector coins. Mm -hmm. They used to have the same premium as an Eagle and the rest of them, but not anymore. It it just has to do with mintages. So there you go. We are going to have to end the podcast, Yankee. All right. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Yes. I, uh... I want to thank everyone for listening to the podcast. We're going to do the um, giveaway here uh, for the people on YouTube. So people on the podcast, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro. And the now people on me... YouTube, you ready for the giveaway? I got it pulled up on the screen now. Okay, I'm still going to harvest some more names. Just give it a little bit longer. Oh, did I jump the gun? No, that's okay. That's all right. We're I'll looking at this wheel thing. More. What is? How does this thing work here? This big wheel, Yankee. <laughs> Tell me how it works. How does it work? You put. You simply have to put something in the chat, uh-huh. and then I harvest those names uh-huh. out of the chat. Yep. Put it on the wheel, right? Yep. Yep. And then we take out all the duplicates. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'll show people right now. Uh, let's see. Customize just so. That, Display duplicates is off. Got it. Yep. All right. And then over here, we got this gray spot on the left. That's because if I put all the names on here, you wouldn't be able to read anything. It's just too much. Okay. Right. So this goes in there and bounces around. So here we go. Let's shuffle these names up. This This is is for a free ounce of silver. Good luck, everyone. All right. Can I I do a quick shout out while it's spinning? Shout. Mm -hmm. My last video, there's a gold giveaway. Go to my last video and leave a comment. I'm doing the drawing tomorrow. Very nice. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. Ooh. Still see more. Caleb. Ricky. Jason. My smart TV. Caleb. Maybe. Uh Uh-uh. I think Steve's going to steal it from Caleb. Oh. (laughs) There it is. Steve Moody. What does he? What does Steve need to do? You got to email me, Steve. So it is <laughs> silverdragons47 at gmail.com. I need your, uh, if that's your real name, I need your name, address, phone number, and you will get your free silver sent from SD Bullion directly. I'll send them I, the info. I, I just saw Caleb fast. <gasps> no! <laughs> He's always <laughs> here like early listening to the oh, stream. And... <laughs> sorry, Caleb. <laughs> All right, no longer shared. There we go, Steve. Congrats. Okay. Oh, that was fun. Very cool. That was fun, and I'm serious. My last video I posted with Harry on the <laughs> thumbnail. Click on it. Type in a comment, and and please check back tomorrow after 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, to see if I pin your name at the top. Because whoever's name is up at the tip top of the comment section tomorrow is winning a quarter ounce of gold. I'm not eligible, am I? No, you can enter. Come on. I I promise I will hit ra- I'll random pick it and whatever the dude, name is, I'll post dude, it. Dude, I could I could never do that. Do if it. I won that. If you win if it, I I'll send that. it to you and you give it away on Silver Pros. Do you re- <laughs> just re-give it away. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. If I win it, we give it away on the next Silver Pros. Yeah, and wow. the, and the next giveaway we're doing with Harry is a half ounce oh, of man. gold. You've got some great milestones coming and some awesome giveaways. Yeah, so make okay. sure you I, check I'm that so, out. I, I am gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, please enter Yankee because if you do right. win, I'm I mean I'm serious. I'll just you can re-give it away on Silver Pros. That's an excellent idea. I won't even it. mail it to you. I'll just hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, why mail it, right? <laughs> You're not gonna win though. There's like eight thousand entries or something. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be funny? But you might win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, that was really cool. Thank you so much for joining us on Silver Pros. This has been fun, and we'll see you now two weeks from now. We're going to have Silver Pros on my channel, Yankee Stacking, so make sure you subscribe to me and so you don't miss the next episode. Absolutely. And, uh, yep, that was it. We'll see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro. Have a good night.